in this quick start video I will show you how to export a RouteCAD drawing to DXS. This can be useful if you want to share your drawing with someone that uses another software since DXF, um, the DXF format is understood by uh, many, many software. You can uh, save your, uh, so your, your, your drawing DXF and give it to a friend so you can work on it, modify it, give it back to you, so on and so forth. Now, we have a drawing uh, that has a few objects, basically a line, a few lines, two lines. It has a parabola and it also has an arc. Now, to export this drawing to DXF, we click on File, Export DXF. Now, we'll, we'll give it a file name. And we click on Save. Now, the drawing has been exported into DXF. Remember, our original drawing only had four objects, two lines, a parabola, and an arc. Now, let's see what the drawing we've exported in DXF looks like when we import it back in RouteCAD. And this is how your drawing that you've created in Route in RouteCAD and you've exported to DXF will look when you um, when you bring it into another software that uh, can understand the XF. So we go to File and Import the XF. Now uh, it asks us if we want to save this file. And we'll say yes because when we save a drawing, it's the RouteCAD default way is always .CAD. This is a RouteCAD drawing, it's a .CAD drawing. Uh, the DXF is another format .DXF. So we'll save it as a RouteCAD drawing. We'll call it original. And we'll save. And now we're ready to import DXF. So let's import the DXF drawing that we saved previously. We click on it and we say open. Now we got, an, we got a warning message uh, that we might have to zoom out several times, but because we've created this drawing with RouteCAD and we import it back in RouteCAD, you know, we do not have to zoom out several times. Everything is in focus. Now we, we got our original drawing that we created before. But there is something different about it, and I will show you what is different about it. We add the arc, the arc is still there. We add two lines, the two lines are still there. But what about a parabola? Ah, the parabola has been transformed into what we call a polyline in DXF. A polyline is simply a sequence of lines. So let's zoom that polyline and see what it looks like. So we do Control R W, and we click that parabola or original parabola, and we can see better that our parabola it was simply transformed into a sequence of small lines. So, so that's how uh, that's how the DXF format is is different than the CAD format. In the route CAD format you can have uh, you can have um, native parabola, rotated parabola and so on object but in a DXF in a DXF format you can you cannot have this uh, those those objects so that's why it uh, it transformed the parabola into a sequence of uh, of line. We'll do a control alt r to reset the drawing and we will um, merge this drawing that is uh, that, that that we've imported with the 
original drawing that we created, we do file merge. The original was original.cad and we open it. Now it asks us if we want to merge before the first route or after. Uh, since we do not have any routing yet in this drawing with only uh, uh, construction element, no route, no lines or circle have been routed yet. It doesn't matter if we say yes or no, but we click on yes, and we need to we need to see <laughs> that the drawing is on top of each other. Okay, so we will click the initial point to move the drawing with merge, and we'll just put it side by side, just to be able to compare better the two drawings what they are. Now, if we click on this original parabola that we had created before is still there. It was an original parabola that we save as a CAD format and we basically merge it back with our original drawing so it's still a CAD format. Now this drawing over here was a this drawing that we made before we we exported a DXF so it turns all it turns this parabola into a sequence of small line and when we imported back uh, we the, 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 the original parabola became a sequence of small line so now in the native route cut format we can have anything we want we can have our parabola or lines or arc and we can have a bunch of small lines that was uh, original parabola so but obviously in dxf where we we don't have this problem we basically have polyline which is original problem so that's it